Welcome back. The episode that I just watched is The Four of Us Are Dying, which was weird. Uh, it's one of the stranger ones when they try to mix some actual elements of, of scariness into this. Uh, I'm not sure this one is particularly effective, but it's there. Uh, it's about a man who changes his face, obviously, and um, uh, they have, you know, four different actors playing the different parts. Um, obviously, the face isn't enough. You, you wouldn't be able to fool someone just by changing the, the shape of your face. Also, he, he there is actually an explanation to this in the episode where it says that he can you know, twitch a muscle or change his face. That wouldn't do very much for his hair and his build, like... And there's so much more to this. Um, we, we don't recognize people by their face alone. It's, it's, of course, vocal pitch and there's, uh, movement patterns and, and, uh, there's a whole bunch of micro expressions that we use to identify one another. And just changing your face would not be enough to actually fool anyone. Um, there is, there's a wonderful shot in this, uh, in this episode. One of the, one of the, more crafty shots um, when you see him changing face in front of a mirror. Now, I first thought this might have been a block shot and that they have two actors in front of a mirror and that whenever he reaches for something, they make a switch somehow. But upon rewatching it, I noticed there isn't an actual mirror in this frame. Uh, the first shot is a side view of the first actor. The camera pans down to his hand, then pans back up to the mirror, which isn't a mirror, it's the second actor, pans down, pans up to the third actor. So it's fairly ingenious. I really like the idea how, how cleverly simple that was shot for something that complicated. Uh, then when he dies, on the other hand, uh, spoiler, um, you get this shot, which is pretty much what you could do before you had morphing. And morphing, of course, came into prominence in, in the early 90s because of computer animation. It, you can't actually do it. If you look at stuff like Doctor Who, where, where you have face changes, it's all done with this technique, uh, more or less. Uh, anyway, um, what else? Oh, yeah, there's a, a line that says that this guy's way out. And, of course, in the 60s and 70s, that became the far out instead, which is cool. You see a progression of language. Um... There is, there's a camera shot of, of a hotel sign. It's, it's featured a few times in the episode and it has an artificial hold. Rather than actually pan the camera and then stop on the actual sign, what they do is that they pan probably past the sign and instead just froze the footage mid frame. It looks very jarring, but I'm thinking it's probably the only way they can make it a stable shot. Uh, finally, there's, a, there's, this is shot on a sound stage and not on the back lot. And you can tell because, uh, there's this one shot in an alley where people are approaching and they are approaching out of a painted backdrop, which is at the back of the street. Um, and it looks, it, it looks really nice. If you're not paying attention, you'll probably miss it, but they walk back and you can, you can pretty much tell it's a painted backdrop. It's really, really nice stuff. Um, next episode is Third from the Sun, not to be confused from the, uh, by the, um, uh, comedy series, uh, that came on later, but this is something quite, quite different, and I hope to see you then. Take care.